the current problem with energy access is there's 800 million people globally that do not have access to electricity. The general electrification rate in sub-Saharan Africa currently is about 45%, but that's an average. Some countries have it as low as 9%. The population in Africa is growing extremely fast. While developing countries are currently not our greatest emitter, by 2040, one in four people will be in Africa. So if we continue with a business as usual scenario, emissions will obviously be vast. And so we're trying to address that. We are working on the project RELCON, which is robust extra low cost nanogrids to make energy more affordable, uh, reliable, but also sustainable. We are looking to provide electricity to customers in developing Africa that are not connected to the national grid. By 2019, the off-grid solar market was worth almost 2 billion US dollars. In Africa, the cultural perceptions impact a great deal on how new technology is going to be uh, taken in. A lot of people's needs are not being addressed. Often we're basing it on sort of a Western ideology of what energy access should be looking like. But we are not actually trying to understand well, what is actually the overarching challenges in these communities and how can energy or how can electricity be used to address these problems. There are still very many places in Africa and in India where women are giving birth and the midwife does not even have access to a source of light. 2.2 billion people do not have access to clean cooking services. And so we're trying to address that by moving to renewable energy sources, solar PV, um, hydropower, clean cook stoves, and moving away from traditional energy sources. If we talk about Sub-Saharan Africa or Africa in particular, it's one of the continents with the highest solar potential. We are going to have lighting, people being able to charge their phones. It means that school children, for example, can be able to read at night. Where they would have previously used a kerosene lamp, we can also provide sufficient power for productive uses. This include things like milling maize. Shop owners, for example, can provide cold drinks. To enable people to have access to electricity so that they can have a higher quality of life. We want to make sure that's a renewable source of energy so that we don't have an impact on the planet. Currently there's a massive data gap that is very challenging for investment decisions in the sector as not enough data exists to build business models that are actually financially viable. The way that governments can help is to create policies that are friendly to energy access. To remove fossil fuel subsidies, reduce import duty taxes, enforce better data collection from a national level. The problem lies in connecting the right solution with the challenge that exists in many, many different places. Over and above the technical work that we have been doing, we've had a lot of interaction with people on issues of policy and on issues of culture to see if this is going to be a successful project.